I'm a fabulous Pisces, this is going to be a January reading for you and I'm going to be asking four questions for January and hopefully it will guide and advise and inspire maybe you. Do let me know if it does in the comments because it's fabulous to hear from you. Right, let's get going. So the first question I'm going to ask is what to expect and focus on in this month. For a fabulous Pisces, what should I expect and focus on in this month? And I what seems to be want to be very sharp with this, I don't know why. Um, you have the Knave of Swords. So the Knave of Swords. For what to expect or focus on for this month. If I was Pisces. So the next question is what to embrace in this month. What should our fabulous and Pisces embrace in this month of January? Let's have a look what we get. You have the hanged man is what you should embrace for this month of fabulous Pisces. I haven't asked the question yet. Oh, I've still hang around there. Okay. What our fabulous Pisces need to bring and do in this month? What do our fabulous no, we're not having that. What do our fabulous Pisces need to bring and do this month? Let's see what we get. Ten of Pentacles. Not focusing. There you go. Ten of Pentacles is what you need to bring and do this month. Ten of Pentacles. So, what do our fabulous Pisces need to leave behind and leave in the past, and not bring it into January? What do our fabulous Pisces need to leave behind and bring, not to bring it into January, and leave it in the past? For some reason, it's me to go all the way over here. The tower. This is what you need to leave in the past and not bring it into the future. Do let me know, my fabulous Pisces, if this relates or links or hopefully it advise you in some way in the comment box because it's always fabulous to hear from you and see you guys soon.